Yo, good morning, sleepyhead. Look outside, sun's setting already. Yep, you're sleeping on my lap. <laughs> are you serious? What are you doing? <laughs> you're feeling my legs? Okay, get off. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, you've always been this way, but you've never really answered me. What is wrong with you? Many things. Well, at least you're aware. You feel better now? Alright, good. <laughs> no need to apologize. As long as you're feeling better, then it's okay. I've said this before, but if you ever need help grading student assignments or making study materials for your classes, then, you know, feel free to ask. It's not good if you're getting tired like that every day. I may be the health expert and the school nurse, but I could help with other stuff if you need it. <laughs> Worried about you? Of course I'd be. You've been this way since high school. Always working so hard that you always forget to take breaks. And eventually, you get sick. <sighs> you know, you really are lucky that we're working in the same place. At least someone's still here to take care of you. <laughs> you're welcome. So, you're treating me to dinner tonight, right? <laughs> what do you mean, what? Uh, it's compensation, no? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you would like to take me out for dinner, I wouldn't mind. <sighs> there you go again. What did I just say? <sighs> I know. You're very responsible. You're a great teacher. The students love you. But... You... Should slow down a little bit. <laughs> you know, if you're not going to take me out to dinner tonight, I'll take you out to dinner tonight. No. We can work on that later. I'm not kidding, by the way. I'm taking you out to dinner tonight. Because you're overworking yourself? Yeah, and we can just work on whatever you need to work on afterwards. You can't possibly ask me. <laughs> Why? Please tell me that's a joke. Because that's not how it is at all. Dude, no way. <sighs> You've done a lot for me back then, too. It's only fair I do the same for you, you know? Oh, come on. Don't downplay it. You essentially saved me. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. Back then, I couldn't really find myself a purpose. You know? An answer to life. A reason to keep fighting. Well, hmm. I think it's... Not I think. It's most likely because I saw how crazy you were. Always working your ass off and eventually getting yourself sick. Seeing you get so unwell every so often kind of made me want to... Stop that, I guess. And, well, keep you alive. <laughs> well, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Well, you see, the problem is, I can give all the great advice I can. But if the person I'm giving advice to is not gonna fucking listen to me, 
then it's not gonna matter now, is it? Oh, come on. There's no problem with me swearing. None of our students are in here. Most people went home already. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been in a similar situation before. Which goes to show that you've been doing this for so many years. <sighs> How can I get through to you? <laughs> I'm never going to be able to. Yeah, don't suppose I am. But it's whatever. I'll still stick by you. As long as you want me to, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Well, I guess so. Okay, we were being pure, okay? What we were doing, it's innocent, it's normal, it's fine. <laughs> yes, it is. I know for a lot of people, it's a little too intimate, but to me, it's more like mm, taking care of an idiot. <laughs> I mean, what, are you going to deny it? I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm not a romantic person at all. Well, would you like to see what I'm capable of? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It is... crazy, though. I mean, every now and then, I still hear students flirting in here. Yeah, like when I get called onto a classroom to see how a kid's doing, come back, I hear some voices in here. Some flirting, sometimes some kissing. Usually what I like to do is bust in as they're doing it, just to make them uncomfortable. <laughs> An asshole? You know, I'd like to let you know that the students love me. Yeah, for sure. I mean, who else is going to keep them alive? They've got to love me. <laughs> huh. Not quite. <laughs> Come on. You should be the one who understands this the most. We're teachers. We're busy as fuck. When would I ever get the time to go meet someone? Besides, even if I do find some time to be free, I'm stuck here dealing with you. I don't have to. Well, I like it. Hmm? You heard me correctly. I said I like it. So it's fine. Hmm, I mean, yeah, spending time with you, it's nice, especially when it's just the two of us. <laughs> it means exactly what you think it means. I like you. I'm in love with you. I've been in love with you for quite some time now. Mm, since high school, I guess. Towards the end, I realized how I felt about you, but wasn't exactly sure how I'd tell you. Nope. Always just had you on my mind. You know, we've talked about this before, but you have no idea how shocked I was to find out that you were going to be working here, too. 
<laughs> I know. It's just, I was surprised that you were still alive and kicking. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. How did you manage without me back then? You didn't? Damn. So how did you live? <laughs> you were barely alive? Actually, now that I think about it, when you first came to work here, you did look like you were in a pretty bad shape, so... Makes sense. Hmm? That is why... <laughs> that is why what? Huh? That's how you realized you liked me too? You missed being taken care of by me? <laughs> Seriously? Okay, that's... Okay, that's actually a little crazy. Another reason why you like to overwork is so you could come see me after school? Okay there, buddy. Come on. And I'm a... I appreciate that, but don't do that. Now that we know how we feel about each other, there's no reason for you to make up silly excuses to come see me. Well, you could tell people that, but... You can just come to me as my girlfriend. <laughs> what now? You're getting really, really red. What's wrong? Got a fever? <laughs> you got me. Yeah, I know damn well you're not getting a fever. <laughs> you're really cute, you know that? You never knew I felt the same? Well, I mean, I never told you, so... And besides, even I myself wasn't so sure how I felt about you back then. But... Hmm. About the lap pillows I used to give you. I know I used to help people a lot and stuff, but... Not... Just anyone gets to use my lap pillow, you know? I only ever offered that service to you. Yeah, really. <laughs> of course. You can rest on my lap whenever you want. Hmm? Oh. You are down? Alright, sounds good. My treat, if you will. Of course, I don't mind. Where do you want to go? Okay, sounds good. Nope, no objections. Don't mind at all. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, I don't mind if you want to come over tonight. We're going to be working on the class material, right? The stuff that you work on for your students? <laughs> yeah, I'll help you with that. <laughs> of course, no worries. And again, you can rely on me anytime. I'm always down to help you. I love you too.